the snort stop. So I'm still setting up. Bastard. 
Mr. Bryceworth. Show me your...
You're late. Dinner's cold. <sighs> Driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. Started, started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone, Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking for Marole for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the city to the account books to see who was getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, son. We've earned every dime we've paid out. It's all logged in those books. Frank hands, Frank hands those over to the feds. We're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. Sure he, has, sure he his has his reasons. Maybe he's, Maybe he's still, still smarting over the dog. The one you tried to drown it. Yeah. yeah. Same, Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was, I was a stupid kid, Tommy. Grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those hooks back. Check down all our stories. See you next time. Will you catch up to Frank? Go get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. That was Tommy. I'd have shot their whore and put Frank in the box. I'm just waiting for you with a clean car. Alright. You later. Tommy. Tommy. What's up? Tough day today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with lift. But don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. And something special here. If you want it. Frank sees a little parlor, you'll know. He goes where 
his work. Whatever it takes, Tom. Something from Morello, but I don't know what. How'd you, How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. okay. Thanks. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Always, my brother.
books in your school.
state or something. Fuck, this ain't good.
get all the blood. to be you, Tom. Anything, Anything you want me to tell him. I wish I, wish I could have shaken that better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. It's okay. You can come, you can come out. out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the, you hand the books over you. I'm not, I'm not so stupid, Tom. They're safe. Morello is waiting for this. For this. It's, a it's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I had it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of him. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get the, get the board. Frank, Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get, Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank! Get on the plane, March! For Alice. For me. For me. Get on the, get on the goddamn plane, please. You've been paid yet? Yeah. Yeah. Now you've been, now you've been paid twice. twice. You, take, you the take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Christ. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you, Why didn't you ask, ask us for help? I guess I, guess I just wanted the house. One way, one way or the other. I'm tired, I'm tired Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me.
got the books, he covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Always put you, Marco. Sir, do you Sir, when I just came by to pay respects, that's all. I've known Frank a long time. Almost, Almost as long as you. He's a good man. A good man. Smart. Smart. Loyal. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. He's a kid, He's a kid above all else. There must, must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. Maybe. But I'm, but I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for, Not for you? No, sir. I like being, I like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Is that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city counselor. The same. Merle let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, you strike and go with a few witnesses. You have, you have names? Yeah. yeah. Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need, we need whatever Watkins has got on us. And where's he, and where's he holding? A safe in this villa. I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvador. He's fresh off the boat. He knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. Dead him, boss? Yeah, that's our... Salvatore! Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. See, who can you? Damn it. bump in the Watkins. Don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. More for two, no regrets. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di dire. Conoscerti. Meraviglioso. Pifauri. Senza farci sentire né vedere. La 
cassaforte dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is going to be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Ok, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. See, you gotta keep safe. Safe, safe. This is um, uh, my job. Apro cassaforte. Open safe. Christ. Ok. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Eccellente. Questo paese è stupendo. Ecco, entriamo da lì. Someone in the maze with us! Someone in the maze with us! Evening for standing around, I guess.
this evening for standing around. I did. There's someone in the maze with us!
this easy, you know. Gotcha. Ed è tutta colpa tua. E impara almeno un po' l'italiano. 
per rispetto della nostra patria. Ah, è come parlare al mio cane, lo so, ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Dai, dai. You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We've got some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go sell it off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. Just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar on everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns sat, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his movie accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his dad? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking, and it turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick. Moonshiner? Uh uh uh. Better. Pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make him look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. It's not like we got a lot of options here. We'll be cutting up the last game pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this, Gates can do that. I'm in. Where's the meat? Big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo a little bit. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. You won't wait down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about it. I know I don't. Grab right back, you two. I just have to eat. I'm hungry.
I'm back. You two have yourself ahead of me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. That was weird. First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of the renegotiation. His nose is going to get more than a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. And he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. He'll need to find a new buyer out here and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan, this plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. Till then, careful! What was I saying? Oh, oh yeah. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then... Then you get to pick holes. Till so then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You little rusty behind the wheel, Tommy! What was I saying? Oh, oh yeah. You serious? You're actually serious. Fellas, knock it off. Watch the road! Watch it! Fellas, knock it off. Christ. I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much though. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Place seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Bobby? Only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Ballin'. Good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. First payment. If the Don's impressed, we'll finance more rents. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please. Please. Give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. Oh, 
Nope, nope, nope. It's okay. Oh, what? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, right, don't worry, pal. All the dough you rake it in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the fools back to the warehouse and try not to die. Hello? What's up with it? I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's blow them down some. Hit them where? Huh? 